All right, hey Boulevard Naka guys, good. Okay, wait. All right, Boulevard Naka guys, good morning. Today I'm just gonna go ahead and drop off these boys. Say hello, boys. And what we're gonna be doing on Thrift Stories special episode, we're gonna go all the way to SUVA site. Why? We're gonna be going to Suva, and we're gonna go and check out the Regal Value City. It's gonna be lit. Let's go. Bye boys. So yeah guys, uh, we're just driving all the way down to Suva now. Um, we're just passing through Yako village. Uh, you know, they say that Yako village is the border of, uh, is exactly sitting on the border of the Mba province and the Nandonga province. Uh, I don't know if that's 100% correct, but I believe it to be so. And, uh, you know, if we go by that being true, we are now in Nandonga. Yeah, buddy. We are now getting into Singatoka, or uh, as the locals, some of the locals call it, Singatokyo. Hi! But... Yeah, man, we're just gonna pass through Singatoka. This is um, not gonna be a place where we stop. We're gonna head on right through. But uh, we are officially in Nandronga. This is the Coral Coast. It is what it is. Unfortunately, we've got a little bit of bad weather. But hey, man, we're just gonna stay optimistic and positive and uh, just focus on what we are going to do, which is get into Regal, Value City, Regal all the way in Suva and see what's up. And I'm confident that we're gonna have a great, great day today. So let's get it. Oh. Yeah, it's really bad out. I was gonna say, usually you have a nice view out here, but I guess not. Not today, at least. Bruh. I mean, that's bad. Then is this? Sheesh. Sheesh. <laughs> wow, it's so funny, guys. Look, man, we we've got. Some blue sky over here in Suva. It's crazy. On the east side, who would have thought? Bad weather in the west, good weather in the east. But uh, yeah, we just passed Navua and uh, we're gonna be in Suva shortly. Yay! So, it's funny, I honestly can't believe it. Um, we're here, we just passed Montfort Boys Town, which is just outside of Suva, a couple of minutes outside Suva. And the weather is perfect it's like a beautiful day so yeah man I'm so grateful and I'm so thankful that it just worked out so cool it's lit bro the sun is shining in Suva City that's a tongue twister trying to say that five times but yeah man blessings So um, I'm outside here the, at the Civic Center and I'm actually being joined by my uh, brother-in-law from Bulasan. Yeah, so we're going to be hitting Value City. Um, so is going to be my, my bag man, my B-cam man and just the man. He's going to be helping me out today and it's going to be good man. Boom, let's go and check it out. <laughs> Alright, so... We're just here across the road at Value City. That's the Regal uh, Cinema Building. Looking pretty good. Oh, dude.
Wait a minute, dude. No way. Okay, guys. So, um, sheesh, man. It seems like Value City is closed. Uh, I hope that this three-hour trip was for not was not for nothing. But um, we're gonna go and check it out. Hopefully, we'll be able to get in somehow. Yeah, we're just gonna go and see what's up. This is my message to you. Sing, don't worry about a thing. Because COVID-19 gone away. Wake okay, up this morning. Uh, BC seems to be close, but you know what? We're going to go around the back and just check it out, see if we can get in. Fingers crossed, man. All right, guys. So we're actually inside. Value City. I just want to give a huge, huge shout out to Auntie Vera, to Monica, and everybody in the Value City team. They actually allowed us to be inside the shop today where there's new stock unreleased to the public. And we're going to go through and see what we can find. That's, I mean, like, boom. This is a once in a lifetime opportunity, once in a lifetime chance. I never thought that I'd be able to do this. I am so super excited. This is going to be so awesome. It's going to be lit, man. I can't wait to see what we can see. Yes, sir. Let's go. So yeah, down the, down the center floor of the shop, you know, we've got racks and racks and racks of different stuff. This is all female stuff, by the way. We're going to head up to the men's section soon. But yeah, this is pretty cool, man. I like how they color coded all the different shirts over here, how that fades from yellow, red, down to the blue. That's pretty sweet. So they got this interesting case of uh, jewelry and uh, you know, it's got all sorts of little stuff like necklaces, uh, little perfume bottles, um, sunglasses even. <laughs> a you, uh, well, a partially used uh, Calvin Klein Beauty perfume. But um, the thing that has caught my eye inside this whole case here is this golden or this diamond ring inside this box, this blue box. That's going for $25, but who knows, man, people have found like million dollar rings inside these thrift shops. Might have belonged to someone who, who has passed on and it's a family heirloom and somehow it just found itself getting thrown out. Who knows, man, that's going for $25 nice oh what i didn't see was how they've set this up <laughs> like it's the shoe it's the bag and then i assume it's the dress and the scarf that's gonna go with it sort of like a set that's really sweet i like that appreciate that yeah so we're still here in the women's section and man this is just it's just quality that's all i can see just denim it's like <laughs> never been worn i don't even know how to explain it it's like whoa you wouldn't think that we're shopping in a second-hand shop. Honest. Alright guys, so this here is the toy section. A whole shelf dedicated to just toys. And right here at the end. Oh my gosh. It's this giant thingy. I don't even know what this is. And um, okay, I'm going to set the camera down and we're going to open this up and see what it is. What? Okay guys, so it says Pokemon Kanto to, or what is it, Kanto and Orange Islands. What does that even mean? So I came from like the Pokemon era of it being like just cards and there was just 151 of them. The last one being Mew, I think it was, or Mewtwo, I'm not too sure. I used to hustle them back in the day, hustle. But yeah, let's see what this is. Whoa. Oh my gosh. Oh my goodness. Oh wow. Whoa. Oh, this is so cool. Oh wow. <gasps> Yo, check it out. What, what is this? What can you do with this? These are like the actual, these are CDs. <gasps> Dude. Look at that. Wow. 
I can't believe it. That's a that's a right proper find right here, man. Dude, I don't know how much this is going for. So this is, let's see, is there any price on the box? What? Seven dollars, bro. Seven dollars. Okay, guys. Also on this toy section here, we've got a, um, we've got like a mix and match bag of it seems just Hot Wheels cars, and uh, I'm gonna put this here next to the next to the Pokemon thing. So this bag, it's just full of Hot Wheels cars, and I know that there's certain Hot Wheels cars which are super valuable. Uh, wow, look at that interesting one. It's all gold. And so this whole bag is going for uh, $15. So, you know what, I think it's gonna be worth it just to take it home and see what we can find. If there's one thing in there that's gonna be more than $15, like the value of it, I'll be happy. But my kids are gonna be so hyped up for this and this Pokemon uh, disc set. So again, guys, the crazy, crazy, crazy thing is that we're here, me and my brother-in-law, just the ones, only ones in the shop. That's nuts, bro. Like, mad man. And I, I, like, I can't believe it. Like, we're here, literally the only ones in the shop. And we're just exploring, just seeing what we can find. If there's anything special, we're gonna pick it and run with it. Yeet. All right, guys, after looking at all this cool stuff down here, we're going to head up the stairs and see the men's section. Also, side note, we've got the Ketchup Cafe also upstairs. Secret little place hidden away with the most awesome food and coffee. So, let's go. Okay, they shouldn't have let me up here. Nah, they shouldn't have let me up here. <sighs> Far out, bro. There's some good stuff here, man. Already, I can see. <laughs> okay, we already got this cool pair of boosts. I don't know, oh my gosh. So these are going for uh, 1870. And these are, I think these are the XNRs again. Uh, just like how we found in VC in uh, Lotoka, but these are an adult size and they've got this interesting interesting um, Like pattern the material on the on the actual upper Yeah, the upper side of the shoe and Dude, these are nice man Yeah, okay. These are coming home with me <laughs> Wow man. Look at it. Look at this. Look at this you can already see Barclays. Bro! It's a Man United legit jersey, man. Sheesh! Wow. Like, this is... Wow, that is so cool. And the price on it is just $8.60, man. That's nuts, man. Can I see the back, please, sir? Wow. Okay, guys, so we're up here in the men's section, and Honestly, there's so much good stuff here. Like I can't even get my head around it. There's shoes. There's shirts. There's jackets <laughs> It's like So much good stuff. Oh my gosh. I'm just gonna okay Like literally there inside the in that in that like bunch of jackets. I'm gonna pull out This Under armor, I think it's like a windbreaker or something but dude, look at the look at the texture. Look at the texture that it has. How cool is that? That is so cool. And it's got the hoodie. Wow. <sighs> That's pretty cool. I like that. <laughs> nice. So coming down the line here, I like how like all the shirts are arranged into like you know colors got the white then the blacks then the blues then it, like goes down multicolored and i just spotted like you know of course you see the you see the material you think it's like okay something old but then you check it out dude that's a legit saint george nrl jersey wow i wonder what year that's from man and that's going for seven dollars seven dollars twenty bruh Wow, that's a throwback. If you're a um, you know, rugby league fan, that's definitely something that you'd be interested in. I'm just going down this line. Man, again, that's pretty cool, man. How you got the yellow, the red, goes to the gray, and then down the line, right? Like blues, blacks, white. That's pretty sweet. I like that a lot. 
that shows that these guys really care about you know what they do okay i have to be honest these guys are really not funny man like honestly these gang are not funny i'm like here doing my thing on this rack over here just checking stuff out and then i look up you know i'm thinking that like all the shoes are over there right and then i look up and on like one of the columns over that side there's a single shoe sitting on the column dude let's go and check it out like i can't believe it nike huarachis oh my gosh look at these these are barely worn what that's pretty cool and it's got like this nice like shine on um on that part of the shoe wow these are so interesting and they just need to get cleaned up a little bit sheesh bro size 12 oh, these are never in my size <laughs> but yo 35 dollars this is a bargain this is a steal man these are literally brand new like brand new wow this is the toy section up at the top top floor second floor and you know everyone knows nerf guns right well we found the mother of all nerf guns boy <laughs> dude <laughs> next level go man far out <laughs> so this is at the top floor and I was over that way where's like like the shoes and stuff um, and those jackets are and uh, down here at the other end is this cool little thing it's like a little library so we're gonna go up these stairs and check it out oh wow that's cool man you got like a little like reading area you can sit down pick out a book leaf through to check it out oh i like that little i like the globe i like the little kids table and chairs that's pretty sweet man wow bunch of other books here too even some magazines that's cool man so shout out to my brother-in-law for getting stuff out of the uh compartments for us but yo what is that we check it out some let's put it on the Dang. So, certificate of authenticity. Jared and Louise. Hey, so I think Jared and Louise. Something. <laughs> it's like a gift or something, or like a anniversary thing. Mm -hmm. Ah, go playing Blink sides. Us. Ah, see, this game got fooled. <laughs> 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 we got punked by the certificate of authenticity. <laughs> oh, so. oh, those are cool. That's pretty sweet. Can I see her? It's like off. Oh. So we're here in the uh, Ketchup Cafe. This is so cool, man. It's a lovely place where you can sit down and have some coffee and some awesome food. And the guys at VC have provided this amazing spread for us. Wow. And just outside the cafe is this awesome view of Suva Harbor. That's so cool, man. You uh, see the Fiji One uh, anchored out there. Wow, this is a lovely view, man. Okay, so guys, We've had a successful haul at VC, it's been lit. I'm so happy with all the stuff that we got, but uh, we've come to that sad part in our journey where my brother-in-law Sao and I, we've got to part ways. Unfortunately, I've got to get back to Nandi and he has to get back to wherever he's going, but it's going to be good. So, thank you Appreciate it, bro. Safe travel, thank you, man. See you bro. See you. Peace. So, what we're going to be doing now guys is just going through this bunch of stuff that we've brought back all the way from Value City in Suva. This is our haul. It's 
pretty crazy. I'm so super grateful to, to the guys at Value City for just, you know, letting us go take, take all these amazing things home. And um, we'll just go through things bit by bit. I, I'll use my little uh, B cam over here to, just to get some detailed shots. But um, yeah, I don't even know where to start. Uh, maybe we'll just start with the shoes, eh? So, um, as you guys can see, we got these pair of Nike Huarachis. I think that's how you pronounce them. But these are like old school, like these trainers, two part trainers with the neoprene insoles. And um, they're super cool, man. I, I really, really like these. They're $35 but they are in such good condition that it's not even funny. Um, and then of course, you know, we just need to give them a little bit of a cleanup. We've got our cleaning gear over here, the toothbrush, uh, the scrub brush, and also uh, we've got a little uh, shoe shine brush here that we're gonna be using um, just to, yeah, see what we can do with these. Uh, next up here we have these cool New Balances. These are New Balance 574 sneakers. And these are $12.50, man. Look at those. So I think if I'm correct, these are from like a, uh, a pack, like a pack of shoes. And the pack of shoes means that they're um, sort of like in a set. And I like it because it's got like, you know, all these different textures um, on the shoe. It's got some like synthetic like nylon kind of material, then some like fake leather. Uh, then of course that little, uh, that pattern that we have on the inside over there, I don't know if you guys can see that properly. Um, but then this end cap here, it's pretty sweet. I like that man, these are, these are very nice. New Balance 574s. And of course, uh, probably my favorite out of all of the shoes that we found, we've got these Adidas Boosts. Uh, these are NMD XR1s. Uh, very nice, man. Still in awesome, awesome condition. Uh, you know, like you guys saw in the shop, these are lit. And I wish they were in my size. They're 10 and a half. I wish, wish, wish these were my size. But they're $18.70. And uh, man, these were a great find, to be honest. I like these so much. Um, yeah, now just taking a break from the shoes. Yo, we got some cool, cool stuff here. Like, unbelievably cool. Knickknacks, yo. Like, this box of Pokemon cards. Like, who would have thought that we would find something like this on, on the shelf just sitting there? And, um, you know, we've had a bit of a look through these cards. Well, my son has actually, my oldest boy. And there's a few cool ones here. But, uh... Yeah, I'm sort of, I've sort of been out the game with the Pokemon cards for ages. See, there's a holographic one here. Don't know if you can see that. But I've been out the game with the Pokemon cards for yonks and 
yeah I'm just really not familiar with too many of these these new ones but um, it's a score nonetheless and we're so happy that we found this also sticking with the theme of Pokemon cards um, got this huge box and like you guys saw in the shop it's it's basically like a collector's item of um, a Pokemon TV series of sorts and uh, all the discs are actually inside which is crazy it's hard to believe but all the discs are still inside um, yeah there we go the mad thing is like we don't actually have a DVD player so we haven't even been able to test these out <laughs> but um, yeah I don't know we might might have to convert them to digital or something and chuck them on a hard drive but uh, that was a pretty awesome find um, also here at the back we've got these 99 point oh 999 point nine gold playing cards <laughs> and it's got inside a uh, I think this is fake but it's got inside this uh, certificate of authenticity gold foil and um, it says laboratory test report gold certificate there's misspellings on this certificate by the way and it says 99.9 percent .9 pure 24 karat gold report number ki da ra 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 so uh, yeah we just had to bring it home but yo the cards themselves are actually pretty cool like they've got um, you know this black uh, print on them and then Uncle Benjamin Frank on the back Ben Franklin um, oh the Ace of Spades looks pretty cool the Lord of the Cards that's pretty sweet yeah man overall this is I mean it's, it's a novelty that's that's what it is I don't think there's any real value to it uh, my brother-in-law saw was saying yo I'm gonna go home and melt that bro <laughs> I don't think that there's any gold here, so unfortunately, uh, don't worry, both you and I's hopes have been let down. <laughs> um, and then of course, yeah, we got the bag of uh, Hot Wheels cars. Um, originally everything was in this bag. Now I separated the two because I felt that um, the ones in this bag wouldn't be of much value uh, as compared to the ones that I put aside in this other bag. Uh, now, even though I say that, there are still some pretty sweet cars in here, like um, like this one, for example. I'll show you guys that in a bit of a close-up. So this is from 2002, and it's called the Quarter Mile Coupe. So 2002, dude, that's almost 20 years old. There's going to be some value to this car. So yeah, put that aside. But honestly, like, I would have to say the cream of the crop out of all these cars. Uh, yeah, it is this one. The cream of the crop of all these cars was this little thing. And it's called the Deuce Roadster from 1999. Uh, that's 22 year, 21 years. That's 21 years ago that this car came out now this is in actual like it's actually in good condition and the price of this thing is 110 US dollars used and we bought this bag of cars for $15 Fijian absolutely nuts crazy man so yeah guys that's it for today's episode thank you so much for tuning in please if you haven't already like subscribe to our channel and turn on that bell notification just so that you get all of the updates from our channel we'd like to just say a huge binakavakalevu to value city once again for making all of this happen and uh, please guys follow us on facebook uh, follow us on instagram just to stay up to date with everything and before i go i just got to say that thrift stories is going to be taking a bit of a break for a little while just a little while because we're working on a big project that we're going to share with you guys soon we really can't wait to do that but yo 
Thank you so much for all your support. We're gonna see you guys very, very soon. Benakovakalevu. Peace.